Hi, my name is Jonathan Budd, and I'm an owner of a solar company and a citizen of the world. And I am furious at something the California Public Utilities Commission did earlier this week. They proposed a new structure for all homeowners that want to go solar under the net metering rules that would essentially eliminate the entire value of going solar and 100% protect the profits and monopoly of the utility's business model. They are making up the argument that solar users, people who go solar, aren't paying their fair share to maintain the grid. And we know for certain that this is an absolute lie because countless studies have been done showing that solar users are actually adding enormous value to the grid. Just in 2018 alone, the amount of people that went solar in California offset over 21 of these projects that would have needed to be built and 100% would have been passed on to you. When your neighbor goes solar and decides to spend their own money building a power plant on their rooftop that puts power into our grid, that is an enormous value for everyone. That's money that the public is now not going to have to spend to build that power plant somewhere else. Now, why do the utilities hate this so much? Because they can't make any money off it. This is what it all boils down to. They cannot make money off it. If they can't get a guaranteed rate of return to go build their new projects, then they can't make any money. And when you as a solar user start generating your own power, then they can't charge you money for that power anymore. So why would they think that we are so stupid that we are going to buy this argument that people who go solar need to pay $60 a month on average just to access the grid and that instead of getting compensated one kilowatt that we put into the grid and one kilowatt back, we should get compensated one fifth or one sixth of the value of the energy we've paid for, we've built and we're putting into the grid. This is such a clear, crony capitalism move, and we're not buying it. The people are not that stupid. We know that the California Public Utilities Commission is in bed with the utilities. We know the influence that money and power has over lobbying, and we know that this is the game that the utilities have been playing for a hundred years. When you can't win and you can't compete in the free market, and you can't deliver consumers a product that is valuable, what do you do? You try to win by lobbying and behind door deals and policy changes and all the bull crap that they are doing right now that is threatening over 60,000 people that work in the solar industry and even worse, our fundamental right to produce energy. This is literally saying that we as consumers do not have the right to produce our own energy. What's next if we let them get away with this? We can't grow our own food? We can't have our own water? Energy is a fundamental right. I should be able to produce my own energy. 100%, no questions about it. I need it to survive. What if I don't trust the grid, like many of us nowadays? What if we don't think the grid is reliable? Look at all the ways that the public utilities have utterly failed us in California, from firefighters, to, to inefficiencies, uh, to massive wildfires, to power outages and shortages and people not having energy for their medications. We have to take our power back into our own hands because nowadays you can't barely even rely on the darn grid. And that's what we're talking about here, is all of us owning and controlling our own power and being able to store that power and having a much more resilient grid. And you know what, utilities? We're not gonna let you get away with this recognize that there is a better future. Stop being so selfish in making this all about you and your shareholders and your profits and understand that what's at stake here is the planet, our rights to energy, the value proposition to homeowners, savings to everyday people who should not be extorted by your business model year after year after year. Bullshit. It is time to fight and I encourage every single person listening to this message to stand with us and fight. January 13th, there will be two protests, one happening in LA and one in San Francisco. And this is the time to let our voices be heard that we have a right to produce our own energy and we are done with crony capitalism being able to influence the free market and our lives and our rights. 
So stand with the solar industry, stand with the 60,000 men and women who work in this industry, stand for the planet and everything that's in stake. We need you, and this is the time to show the utilities and the world that the people mean business, and they will not be able to mess with our right to energy ever. We will never stand for it, and the time to make our stand is now. Join us January 13th. Please write the governor of California. Let him know you stand with the solar industry. Follow the links to petitions. To call your senators and tell them this is wrong, and we're going to fight it, and it's not going to happen on our watch.